Servicing must be completed in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and carried out by a competent and qualified engineer. Isolate gas and electrical supplies before commencing service procedure. Remove top case and check 240 volt power is isolated with a multimeter. Remove front, rear and side casing. Release both side catches. Disconnect silicon tubes and lift out air filter. Disconnect gas valve and fan cables for each module, releasing the reusable cable ties. Using a 13mm socket and spanner, remove all nuts and washers securing the burner block. Separate the gas flanges using a 10mm socket and spanner. Remove the rubber gasket and place to one side. Disconnect the gas manifold from both angle brackets. Pull the white and brown spade connectors from the gas pressure switch. Standing at the back of the boiler, lift the burner block to align grub screws with bracket holes. Using a 4mm hex key, wind the grub screw anti-clockwise until it engages with the bracket. Repeat for other side. This then acts as the hinge mechanism. Standing at the front of the boiler, lift the gas manifold up to a 30 degree angle. Using the two pins provided in the accessories pack, push each pin into the angle bracket holes in the gas manifold and through the box section frame to secure the burner block in service position. Carefully remove burner gaskets. Discard as these will need to be replaced. Remove each burner, inspect condition of frame and burner mesh, dry clean the burner using compressed air working on the flame side. Cover electrical components and clean all combustion chambers with soft brush and water. Remove inspection cover from flue chamber and clean out any debris. Replace and tighten. Place burners back in position. Using new burner gaskets, carefully locate flat on top of each burner. Reassemble in reverse order. Lower the burner block and tighten all nuts to a torque of 13 Newton meters. Reconnect gas supply and carry out a tightness test on the manifold. Reconnect the gas valve and fan cables for each module. Refit air filter and recouple silicon tube, ensuring the tubes do not become trapped when air filter is lowered into position. Make sure the three switches located on the boiler control module are in the down position and switch the main power on. All fans will briefly spin and the E8 controller will illuminate. Combustion checks must now be carried out on each module, connecting an analyzer probe to the flue sample point. Refer to pages 42, 43 and 44 in the AirsTech 200-350 instruction manual. With the E8 door closed, turn the wheel clockwise until chimney sweep function is highlighted, then open the E8 door. Turn the wheel anti-clockwise until service is shown, then press the button. Turn the wheel clockwise until cask manual is shown and press the button again. Turn the wheel clockwise to choose the first module to test and press the button. Press the button five more times to enter code 0000. With the red light illuminated, turn the wheel until 10% is shown, then press the button once more. Selected module will now light at 10% output. 
Ensure CO2 values are correct. Adjust minimum screw on gas valve if necessary. Once satisfied, press button on E8 controller, turn wheel clockwise until 100% is shown, then press button again. Check combustion results at 100%. Once satisfied, reduce output to 0% and repeat procedure on each module. Once all combustion checks are complete, close any test points previously opened, replace casing and leave boiler operational.